Hare Krishna. So we continue our discussion on the Nam Ramayana, the third set of third verse. Ghor Tataka Ghatak Rama, Mari Chadin Patak Rama, Kaushika Makasam Rakshak Rama, Srimad Ahalyo Dharak Rama. So Ghor Tataka Ghatak Rama. That here we have come in the Balakand to Lord Ram going to the forest at the request of Vishwamitra. The last name was Vishwamitra Priyadhana Rama. He is the dear child of Vishwamitra, he is the dear wealth of Vishwamitra. And as a service to Vishwamitra, what did he do? Ghor Tataka Ghatak. So Tataka was, uh, was a very fierce, ferocious. Ghastly looking demoness. And La Ram, what did he do? Ghataka. He brought her down. He destroyed her. So this was the first martial campaign of Ram. And he fought it with such gallantness. Uh, Tataka was such a demoness. He was gigantic. And she was... What happened? She just marched on Ram and Lakshman, and they could hear just the size of her caused the entire underbrush or under wilderness to tremble. And she marched towards and Ram shot and shot and shot arrows. And she initially just brushed off all the arrows, but eventually she Ram just shot arrows so fiercely that she was completely overpowered. So the first act of Kshatriya heroism that Ram did was in the service of the sages and it was, it was not just what he fought against but what he fought for. Now anybody can be uh, demonized by saying oh you are attacking so and so person but why, oh, why are you attacking? Now, if we have a quarrel with someone and we attack that's violence but if the police are chasing someone who is uh, who is a lawbreaker and that is not violence that is actually something which is essential to do to protect the law and order in society so ram was a kshatriya and he was a part of he was central to the machinery the system that was maintaining law and order in society and he its first encounter was with one of the most formidable demon and she happened to be a demoness, but more important than the gender of the body is the mentality of the mind, is the disposition of the mind. And Ram initially hesitated considering that she is a woman, I shouldn't attack her. Uh, and that is, uh, that is noble, that is laudable. But within the demon family, even the demonesses, they can be horrible, they can be, they can be horrible, horrifying and they have no moral scruples. So Ram not only had to kill the demoness but he had to reconceptualize his idealistic understanding of life to the uh, realistic assessment of ground realities. So demons don't follow human codes and within human society uh, cultured people never raise in their arms against women, but female demonesses were first demonesses and second females. Ram saw her first as female and then as a demoness. But Vishwamitra told him, no, you have to change this priority. Don't see her as a female who should never be attacked. See her as a demon, as a demon first. And is acting with a demoniac mentality. So people have multiple levels of identities. And which identity we focus on first determines how we approach them and how we deal with them. So it, this was not just a exhibition of skills, but a education about uh, realities for Ram. So he exhibited his prowess, but he also was educated about how power needs to be exercised in the real world. Then he is the next was. Marij Adi Nipataka Rama. So, so Tataka was accompanied by 
many other demons primary among them were two of her associates subahu and maricha so subahu was also slain by ram but maricha is a very interesting character and ram spared him in a war there is there are some so some armies who have an have a policy of no prisoners taken that no prisoners taken means that whatever happens uh, you just slaughter everyone so ram did not necessarily have that attitude so he felt that rather than slaughtering all the demons that let this that if the demons learned what had happened and they saw that for protecting the sages there is a powerful there is a powerful enough king who is available who is there and ready a royal prince who is ready then if that demon spreads the news to others then he maybe that demon would deter others from similarly vandalizing and uh, persecuting the demon persecuting the sages so considering this ram hit marich with a blunt arrow and yet ram's arms had such formidable power and the arrow was hurled at marich with such incredible strength that marich was flung far away now sometimes when a blow is hit they say arrow is hit the arrow just passes through the body but in this case because the arrow was a blunt arrow it did not pass through the body but instead it just hit marich and marich was flung far away nipatak nipatak means hurled to the ground and marich was first infuriated and then he was terrified so later on the ramayana marich tries to attack ram again coming in the form of a giant sharabha beast of uh, horrifying beast not only because of the physical size but also the kind of dimensions and features that he had but ram again shot him ram recognized that this is actually maricha in a disguise form and he again shot him with a blunt arrow and again he was hurled away so sometimes not killing can also act as a way of deterring and then preventing further destruction that's what ram wanted to do over here and that's what he did so when he hurled this demon away to some extent this was this worked positively some extent it didn't work positively later on when ravan wanted to abduct sita he tried to conscript maricha in his scheme and maricha refused not only he refused he strongly warned ravan not to antagonize ram and in that sense ram's strategy worked but unfortunately shurpankha incited ravana's lust and then ravana came back again and he forced maricha to join his ranks so maricha became the instrument through which sita uh, ravana's conspiracy to sita to abduct sita became successful but that is the history of maricha that he was he was hurled away by ram's formidable arrow and that was also both a memorable and a memorable exhibition of power as well as a powerful deterrent for further recurrence of fights then kaushik mak samrakshak ram shrimad ahalyo dharak ram so kaushik mak samrakshak ram what this means is kaushik was a great sage and as a great sage what did he do he actually worked extremely so he was a very powerful sage makha samrakshaka so in this way uh, the makha is the sacrifice samrakshaka ram competently protected the sacrifice of kaushika now it's interesting who is kaushika kaushika is non different from uh, from vishwamitra in fact uh, kaushika was his name and vishwamitra was his title so it's interesting that a different name is used over here he was celebrated by the name vishwamitra 
which he had got because of his great austerities but here it is described that he had come to he had come to dashrath's kingdom to ask for ram's assistance for the successful conduct of his sacrifices and for ram that mission was successful ram very gallantly fought and protected and thus he succeeded right in his early childhood in fulfilling the mission of his descent that is paritranaya sadhunam vinashaya cha dushkritam dharma samsthapanarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge so dharma samsthapanarthaya to maintain the principles of dharma and to protect those who are virtuous and to uh, to neutralize those who are vicious that's what ram was meant to do and that's what ram did heroically heroically now what why why is it so significant that yagyas be protected the yagyas are ways in which the the cosmic harmony is maintained and maintaining such harmony is vital why well, it's just uh, like if in a particular country there are for the cosmic and for the administration of the country the taxes have to be collected and if the if the bandits or thugs they prevent the taxes from reaching the state then the resources for the state will get diminished and the state will not be able to act act effectively so similarly the fire sacrifices are like the cosmic tax we have to pay it is that devan bhavayata anena te deva bhavayantu vah परस्परम भावयंत श्रेय परम वापस द भगवीता इट इज सेट दैट वॉट वी ऑफर टू सेटिस्फाई द गॉड्स दे गिव इट बैक टू अर्ज इन रिटर्न एंड इन दैट वे वी मूव फॉरवर्ड इन अ वे दैट इज कंस्ट्रक्टिव एंड इफ दैट डजेंट हैपन देन द कॉस्मिक ऑर्डर कैन गेट डिसरप्टेड एंड दैट डिसरप्शन ऑफ द कॉस्मिक ऑर्डर कैन बी प्रिवेंटेड if we all work together if we all work together so ram by we all means this terrestrials we on the earth and celestials those in heaven we work together so yagyas are the way by which we humans human society harmonizes with the rest of reality and ram by protecting the sacrifice of vashishta of kaushika was not just acting to serve that sage but was helping humanity stay in harmony with the rest of reality and then shrimad ahalyo dharak rama shrimad ahalyo dharak rama so here after that after the sacrifice was successfully completed the four ram and lakshman going out in the forest with Vishwamitra was an adventure it was their first major trip out of the kingdom and especially it was a it was a ground trip it was like a trek and when they would otherwise travel they would go with all the royal paraphernalia it was a comfortable journey but now it was at the level of ground realities they were going so then they uh, Vishwamitra decided to give them a further adventure a further opportunity to go and explore various things in their life and does he said let us i will take you to to uh, uh to the swayamvar of sita to the kingdom of janak maharaj and as they were going that way ram performed what we could say was his first miracle Now, now now we you can use the word miracle in two distinct senses one is that wherein something which is very difficult to do and somebody does it oh that's a miracle so it's not against the laws of nature but it is it is something which is very very difficult to do with extremely low probability of something working out so it's a miracle say for example somebody has a uh, has a particular disease for which they need maybe a bone marrow or transplant that would need a donor and it's extremely difficult to find a donor but just in the nick of time they find the donor 
might call this a miracle or somebody the chances of a particular medical treatment working for them is extremely low but it works we might call oh, that's a miracle that's one sense of the word miracle so where if something is of extremely low probability and it happens we call it as a miracle the other is that where something involves suspension or transcendence to the laws of nature now miracles are not against science they are above science that there are higher principles beyond what physics explores and discovers and to understand and explore those higher principles we need to uh, open our minds so ram performed his first miracle when he came to this particular uh, when he was going along towards janak's kingdom they came to a hermitage which looked very at one level it looked barren and it looked deserted but at another level so that there is one uh, rock on which a tulsi plant was growing and then ram touched that tulsi plant and suddenly it transformed into a saintly lady she was the hermitess and her name was ahalya so ahalya who had become a stone was converted from a stone to a human being to a human being and shrimad ahalyo dharak rama that lord ram delivered ahalya she who had become a stone was converted into a human being she was liberated from the stone like existence and brought into and returned to restore to human existence the story behind this we'll discuss in the next name of ram in the next session thank you hare krishna